that for me, the the AI stuff that I really enjoy is just the goofy mashups that people do. You know, like what what if He Man was done as a Super Panavision seventy millimeter movie in nineteen fifty or something, or or even better, you know, the the whole thing. Uh, with you know celebrities or, or people eating various things like i saw this one was a whole album of people at a lava eating contest so it was like <laughs> all these people just like gorging themselves on lava and screaming as their jaws melted off and it was hilarious see i like stuff like that so, I mean, I can see it being huge with the meme community. We're already seeing that kind of thing. But there is, of course, the dark side to it, which is, you know, a whole new level of deep fake stuff, which could be very, very damaging to the fabric of civilization as we know it. <clears throat> so, as with any new emerging technology, there's a good side and there's a bad side. I think in this case, the good side will be that it will meet certain needs, but, and there will be AI tools that can be used to help improve the uh, efficiency of the workflow on the creative side. But, um, and I'm not talking about just putting in prompts to generate something. That's not what I mean. I mean like AI tools, like for example, in, in like uh, editing to, uh, um, to like clean up an image or something that you've shot or to remove things from the background that, you know, you didn't want there or whatever. Um, you know, manipulating images that you have already created, manipulating and, and, um, you know, fixing. So I don't know. There's a, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot to it. We'll go talk to this person cause they're right nearby.